Toby Keith, a titan in the world of country music, has recently been the subject of much concern and discussion. Known for his chart-topping hits and indomitable spirit, Keith has been a fixture in the music industry for decades, but the recent revelation of his stomach cancer diagnosis has cast a shadow over his illustrious career. Fans around the globe have rallied behind him, offering prayers and well wishes as he navigates this challenging journey. In this video, we'll delve into Keith's ongoing battle with cancer as well as his recent activities. Stardom In the early 1990s, Toby Keith found himself drawn to the heart of country music, Nashville, Tennessee. He spent his days on Music Row and at a local haunt known as Hound Dogs, busking and immersing himself in the city's vibrant music scene. Armed with copies of a demo tape his band had created, Keith walked along Broadway, hoping to catch the attention of a record label. But his efforts were met with no interest and he returned home, feeling depressed. Keith had set a personal goal, to secure a recording contract by age 30 or abandon his pursuit of a music career. As he passed this milestone without a contract in hand, his dream seemed increasingly elusive. But fate had a different plan. A chance encounter with a flight attendant, who happened to be a fan of his music, set a new course for his career. She managed to get a copy of Keith's demo tape into the hands of Harold Shedd, a Mercury Records executive, during one of her flights. Intrigued by what he heard, Shedd decided to see Keith perform live. He was impressed by Keith's talent and stage presence and offered him a recording contract with Mercury Records. Keith's first four studio albums, Toby Keith, Boomtown, Blue Moon, and Dream Walkin', plus a greatest hits package, were all released under various divisions of Mercury before he left the label in 1998. Each of those albums achieved a remarkable feat, earning gold or higher certification. They also gave birth to several top 10 singles, including his debut hit, Should Have Been a Cowboy. This song not only climbed to the top of the country charts, but also became the most played country song of the 1990s. In 2005, he established his own record label, Show Dog Nashville. They later joined forces with Universal South Records in December of 2009, evolving into Show Dog Universal Music. Through this platform, Keith has released 10 studio albums. He's also explored the world of acting. He made his acting debut in 2006, taking on a leading role in the film Broken Bridges. He also co-starred in 2008 with comedian Rodney Carrington in the film Beer For My Horses. Keith's music career has been marked by a consistent output of songs that combine rock and roll with an easygoing country style. His lyrics often tell stories about life, love, and the pursuit of happiness. He's been honored numerous times for his contributions to the music industry, including being inducted into the Songwriters Hall of Fame in 2015. Keith married his wife, Trisha Lucas, in 1984. They have three children together. Their daughter, Crystal, is also a singer and occasionally has performed with her father. Keith is also involved in various charitable activities, including the Alley's House charity, which he established in memory of a friend's child who died of cancer. He's also a supporter of the U.S. military and has performed numerous USO tours. Keith's Cancer Journey In the fall of 2021, Toby Keith's life took an unexpected turn. The country music star was diagnosed with stomach cancer, a revelation that shocked fans and the music industry alike. Keith began receiving treatment shortly after the diagnosis, undergoing chemotherapy, radiation, and surgery. Despite the severity of his condition, Keith remained hopeful and determined, embodying the resilience that has characterized his career. The impact on his professional life was immediate and significant. He was compelled to cancel his remaining tour dates to focus on his treatment and recovery. This decision, while necessary, was a disappointment to fans eager to see him perform. However, their disappointment was tempered by their concern for Keith's health and the respect for his decision to prioritize his well-being. Throughout his health ordeal, Keith has been open with his fans, sharing updates on his condition and treatment. In a post on Instagram, he wrote, quote, I've spent the last six months receiving chemo, radiation, and surgery. So far, so good. I need time to breathe, recover, and relax. His transparency during this challenging time has been met with an outpouring of support from fans who have offered prayers and well wishes for his recovery. Despite the physical toll of his treatment, Keith has managed a positive outlook. In an interview with the CMT Hot 20 Countdown in November 2022, 
he shared his intention to get back into fighting shape. He acknowledged the debilitating nature of his treatment, but expressed hope for the future, stating that as long as everybody stays hunky-dory, we'll look forward to something in the future. As he continues his battle with cancer, the prayers and support from his fans undoubtedly provide a source of strength and encouragement. His Recent Activities Amid Health Struggles Despite the challenges posed by his health condition, Toby has remained active and engaged with his fans and community. His recent activities, which include surprise performances with new business ventures, demonstrate his unwavering spirit and commitment to his passions. One of the most notable instances of Keith's ongoing engagement with his fans occurred at a popular Oklahoma sports bar. As reported by Music Mayhem, Keith made a surprise appearance at the bar following the annual Bedlam basketball game at Gallagher Iba Arena in Stillwater, Oklahoma. Despite his beloved team's loss, Keith had a massive sing along of his chart topping debut single, Should Have Been a Cowboy, much to the delight of the bar patrons. This spontaneous performance, which was shared widely on social media, showcased Keith's enduring love for music and his connection with his fans. His appearance at the sports bar was not an isolated incident. He's been spotted at various establishments across the U.S., surprising patrons with impromptu performances. In November 2022, he shocked unsuspecting guests at a luxury boutique hotel in Norman, Oklahoma, where he joined a country music duo for a 30-minute performance. These surprise appearances, despite his ongoing health struggles, underscore Keith's dedication to his craft and his fans. Toby Keith's New Venture In the midst of his health struggles, Toby has embarked on a new business venture that aligns with his personal interests and passions. He's recently acquired the Lucky Strike Fishing brand, a historic name in the fishing industry. This acquisition marks a new chapter in Keith's career, demonstrating his resilience and determination to continue pursuing his passions despite his health challenges. Lucky Strike has a long and storied history in the fishing industry. Known for its innovative and high-quality fishing lures, the brand has been a favorite among fishing enthusiasts for decades. But in recent years, Lucky Strike has faced challenges that threatened its existence. Keith's acquisition of the brand represents a lifeline for Lucky Strike, offering the potential for a revival and a return to its former glory. Keith's connection to the fishing world runs deep. An avid fisherman himself, he understands the importance of quality fishing gear and the role it plays in the fishing experience. In addition to his personal connection to fishing, Keith's acquisition of Lucky Strike also represents his commitment to preserving and promoting American heritage brands. Lucky Strike, with a long history and legacy in the fishing industry, is a quintessential American brand. Now it's time to hear from you. Did you know about Toby Keith's health struggles? And what's your favorite song of his? Let us know in the comments section below.